Praise Lord. I really thank God for this wonderful opportunity that is given to us to stand as a testimony for a mighty witness that happened in our life, a big miracle that happened just two months back. To begin with, we were from a Syrian Catholic background and uh, we did not know God. We were only on a religious system and we did not really have any relationship with him. But it was through the birth of my little sister that we searched of God and we found God. And she was born with a genetical disorder called as Down syndrome, along with floppy baby syndrome, for which the doctor said that she will never walk or talk or do anything. But against all medical sciences, she did stand, she did walk, she did talk, and things were going perfect in our lives. But this August, she had a protrusion in her stomach for which operation was required of hernia. And uh, it was complicated because she had a hole in heart. We prayed and we took her to the best surgeon in Bangalore. However, the operation was successful. But the very next day, she deteriorated. She deteriorated in such a level that four of her organs completely failed. Her heart, her liver, her lungs, and her kidney completely failed. And when we took her to the emergency ward, the rate at which she was dying was 85%. And the saturation level in her body, that is the oxygen level in her body, we all need 100%. If it's below 50, we all become unconscious. And below 30, you'll be brain dead. And her saturation level was just 18, which was a clear indication that she was dying, or maybe she's even dead. She just had straight lines going through all her ECG and everything, and we knew that we lost her. Hopes went down, and the next day, the pastors and the believers came down to pray. And that's one moment that changed our life. When Pastor Shine had come, he asked me one sentence. He said, where is faith? In fact, faith is not when we th see things positive, but it is when we see things negative in our life. We held on to those words and began to pray. And the Lord had continuously showed me through visions that she's going to come back. But there was no medical science that supported it. In fact, she was in the ventilator at 100% oxygen and in a position called prone, which is an inverted position, which is the extremely critical gone cases that they give at. And she was in the prone position. But after the prayer, immediately, there was a small miracle that happened that her kidney began to partially work and a ray of hope began to come. We were waiting for the day she will be out of the ventilator, but one week passed. And on the seventh day, the doctor said, she is progressing in baby steps and we have no hope. She has to be another 15 days more in the ventilator. And there is absolutely zero hope in your sister's case. We were heartbroken and we were coming back home. And that day I had a wrestle with God. I said, Lord, I have heard about you. I've heard that you have done great things when you were on earth. Lord, you raised Lazarus, you raised Jairus' child, and there is so many things I've heard about you, but I've never seen you. But today, I want to see a display of your greatness in our lives. At that moment, when we were passing by, my dad said, stop near the cemetery. We need to see for a place to bury. I was heartbroken again because I had seen a vision that two men were standing near my grandfather's grave, and a voice came from heaven saying, it is not required. I told my dad about the vision, but he was so strong that he went along with Matthew to the grave. But as soon as he came back from the grave, setting the place, within half an hour, a call came saying, Ansi has opened her eyes, and in fact, she's asking, where is Papa and where is Chechi in the ventilator? We all were surprised that how could this happen? Because at 2 o'clock, the doctor said zero hope. And at 3 o'clock, she's opened her eyes. And then it was a series of miracles. Against all medical sciences, she was shifted to the ward in three days. They sent her reports back. And the reports came that all her organs are working super normal, not just normal, but it's completely healed. 
it is like brand new and they said this is not our work but is the work of your god but through this it was a greater witnessing because we came across a brahmin family whose son was of same age as my sister 40 days in the icu spent 25 lakh and zero hope a one word of prayer and next day he was shifted to the ward and they held our scriptures and said we will not deny this god who rescued him also this is the word of god we may wonder what can be done with this child she's so special what can she even speak about but god makes a way he can make ways through people whom you may think that is not really useful to the society and this is our story that we may think god can do great things in the past but he can still do great things for us if we trust and if we pray but this is a miracle and we have seen it and you are seeing it today i would like to give the mic to ramsey yes dear lord pastors uncles brothers sisters thank you so much pray for me i love you